That's the problem. There's a difference between naturopathic approach to this issue and functional medicine approach to this issue. So I think you made that clear, which is you go to the naturopath, it's, hey, here's the uva ursi. Functional medicine is going to come in and say, okay, well, how'd you get to the UTI? Oh, you took antibiotics. You're on birth control for 20 years. You had a sexual partner who had extremely poor microbiome health. Maybe there was some yep. issue there. Um, maybe you had multiple partners, maybe one of them at H pylori, you had low stomach acid, you ended yep. up with dysbiosis, then you got candida overgrowth, then you did too much alcohol, you love to do wine in the evenings, you ate a little too much chocolate, you know, it's like, that's the more investigative route. And that's where people need to be thinking. We've got friends that are naturopaths, good people, but you just got to go deeper most of the time. So, yeah, and a lot of times too is I'm, I'm if someone has chronic issues, I want to know more about their gut because the microbiome has such an impact, especially with IgA and with the overall immune system. So if there's chronic issues in the vaginal area, you have to look up to the intestinal tract. Very important. Yeah, and, and you would say there's got to be some link between the low secretory IgA that you and I are seeing on these stool tests and what's going on with the vaginal microbiome too, right? You would assume that's a system-wide defense shield that's going to be affected. Yeah, it's part of the mucous membrane barrier. So mucous membranes in the eyes, the mouth, the intestinal tract, the urinary tract, the vaginal canal. So if we see low IgA issues in the intestinal tract, that barrier is a little bit weaker. Think of the force field. You know, you see Star Trek, they put like their, their force field up, right? So they, so when the Klingons go to shoot them, it kind of bounces off, right? Think of that force field we have in our intestinal tract and our vaginal canal and our urinary canal that kind of protects. And so probiotics can help. Obviously, getting rid of the dysbiotic microbes can help. Um, avoiding a lot of the things that create the imbalances in the, in the, to begin with, which would be a lot of the antibiotics or maybe pesticides or GMO foods that produce a lot of antimicrobial compounds too. All those help avoiding those things too. You know what's happening even in functional medicine world is that everything's becoming isolated. Are you noticing that? Like people are focusing on just the gut. So it's like this leaky gut formula, this leaky gut protocol, and they're ignoring the fact that you just mentioned this IgA, this mucosal barrier is kind of a system wide problem. So there could be oral, vaginal, gut, all at the same time, all related to the same dysfunction of these force fields being down. I think it's just marketing, right? People just want to market that they're the gut guy. They're the parasite guy. They're the candida guy. I think that's just a marketing problem, but hopefully people are, are seeing this. And of course, if they've been listening to us for months or years, they're seeing that this is a system wide problem. It's just manifesting in this way. Yeah, in the functional medicine world, a lot of people market to niche areas and symptoms, which is fine because a lot of people, when they get focused on something, they think they have this issue, they're going into Google or their search and they're typing that issue. So for you to be relevant and for that person that has health issues to find you, you do kind of have to market to a symptom. But then when you find that person and you talk to them, you want to make sure that their approach is globally where they look at things holistically and you're not seeing the gut person that only deals with the gut and they're not looking at your thyroid or your anemia or your low glutathione. They're not, they're not connecting the dots. So you got to make sure they're still able to connect the dots with multiple systems and they're not just focused on one issue. So it's okay for doctors to market to that. You just have to make sure that their philosophy is a holistic philosophy that encompasses everything in there.